Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Style Crypt. I am your host, Asia the Bird. Today, myself and my lovely co-host um, of Runway Show Reviews, Victoria Stafford, aka the High Fashion Fan. We are going to re be reviewing Black designer Stella Jean and her work. And I want to go ahead and you know, let's go ahead and get started. So, how are you, Victoria? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You excited to, re to review her Runway shows? I am. I really am. I know she's very talented, so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Most definitely. So the first show we're going to do is Spring Summer 2020. And here we go. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to be reviewing Stella Jean's Women's Spring Summer 2020. And here we go. Ooh, pops color. All right. That's really, really nice. Yeah. Starting off with, uh, with uh, a boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like the black and the pops of color. Yeah. I like the flower motif on the dress. Yeah. Some interesting um, woven textures here. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. I like that hat. The hat is, is killer. Yeah. Ooh. I'm feeling the shoes. I love the dress. Yeah, those shoes are interesting. Again, mm -hmm. in New York, touching the ground, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the hill could be a slight bit higher. Yeah. Yeah. But it but it is a cute shoe. It's, it's very, very cute kitten hill. Well with the with the fur or the fringe or whatever on the outside, I don't know if I don't think that would the heel height it would help. But it's an interesting thing to add. It's an interesting detail to add to the shoe. Mm, I like the suit. The suit's very cool. I do. I like the suit. I don't know about the the shin boots or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the shins. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they're just, they're literally shins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it really needed the shins in my personal perspective. Yeah, I don't need it. Yeah, <laughs> that skirt is beautiful. I yeah, love that skirt. Very beautiful, bright colors and pattern. I would wear this dress in the summertime for sure. Mm, That's very, so cute. Very yeah. And I like how the runway is very simple. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's not going all kinds of ways. It's very simple. It says her name in the front and pretty much it just go up, around, and then you come back. Yeah. I like that. I like I like it without the overlay, even though the overlay doesn't necessarily bother me. But I think all of these pieces work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's part Caribbean and Italian, I believe. So she's ha uh, part Haitian and part Italian. Yeah. You can definitely see some of the, um, the that Caribbean side in her. Yeah, definitely. I like that dress. That's really nice. I love yeah, like I the textile pattern at the bottom of the skirt. Bottom of the dress, excuse me. Now, I don't know if I would wear this one, but I don't think it's a bad look. I think mm -hmm. I definitely think somebody could pull this off, but it's just not me. Mm -hmm. hmm. Kind of got mixed feelings about this one. It's I love the the textile design. I love the pattern. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives me like Amish in a way. Yeah, it's like. It's like pushing Amish a little too much. Other than that, I would be here for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this dress I really like. I like this dress. Yeah. It's a cute little summer dress. I like the skirt. Yeah, the skirt's very, very cute. I don't, this model, I don't know if her feet hurt or what, but this walk is not good, honey. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a cute. I like this. Yeah, that's a cute dress. 
Yeah, I like the pops of color with this collection. You know, definitely like the plays with like red and white and blue. As you can mm -hmm. see, that's that's pretty much the common theme as far as color palette. Yeah. I love the hat. I love the red hat. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely feels like I can definitely see the some of the Caribbean um, textile and the color elements combined with like mm -hmm. that um, Italian Riviera type mm -hmm. of resort feel. I can see both of those combined. Right. Ooh. I like the fringe. That's different. Yeah. I recognize the face on that shirt. Mm -hmm. I think it's like, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's like in history, like um, an East African princess or something. Can't mm -hmm. remember. I like the, I actually like the polo with her mm. name on it. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. The polo style shirt. Yeah. I could see some Haitian girls rocking that and and it'd be a whole statement. It'd be cute. Some mm. Haitian girls in Bushwick, especially, well, Brooklyn. I think that would be a, a hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is pretty. Yeah, it's, it's very, very Caribbean vibes with the garment. Yeah. I like the shoes. I like the, the black and white stripe and the red fringe. I just kind of wish there again, either have it flat as like a flat sandal or have it as like a higher heel. Yeah. But the dress was beautiful. Yeah. It's very fine. Mm, I like the black dress. The black dress is gorgeous. Yeah, this is pretty too. Yeah, so, you know, the reason why I said, like, either flat or somewhat high is just the more I've observed it, the more I'm like, you know, maybe not a kid hill, maybe like a two, three inch hill, you know, or like a three or four inch hill, excuse me, or just have a flat sandal. Yeah. I feel like this was a common, definitely a common like type of jumpsuit in 2020 for sure. And now that I realize it, I feel like it stayed there too. <laughs> mm hmm. This is, this is, I love this print. Yeah, the print is gorgeous. The pink and blue um, and white color palette. Yeah, for sure. There it is. That's definitely mm -hmm. a resort look if I've ever yeah. seen one. Yeah, hands down, flat out. Ooh. This is the more of an edgier look in the collection. Mm hmm I like how it's, you know, it's an embroidered um, design on the top. Yeah, I don't know if I love the fact that the shoulder, the shoulder pad is just like out here. We can bring it in just a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Nice two piece. Yeah. Crop top and skirt. Yeah. No, those are pants. I thought that was a skirt. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. A, it's pants. Yeah. Ooh, that looks interesting. Yeah, it must be the shoes because I think some of the girls have a slightly hard time, but yeah. I've seen worse, so they're doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing good as far as walking. So maybe like with certain of the models, like probably just because probably the shoe is the wrong size, maybe, mm -hmm. and they just had to go okay. with it. Yeah, that's you know, it is. You know, either it's too big or the size is too small. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm feeling this dress. Oh, that's cute. Nice little cocktail dress. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Well, not a cocktail. I wouldn't say it. I don't know what, what category to put that in. <laughs> You know, like a cocktail resort dress. This dress right here is very resort. I like the paint painterly, you know, um, textile design pattern. Really, really nice. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if the final look. Mm. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's I like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do too. It gives like, you know, a sense of like a willow pattern, like those blue and white plates. That's what it reminds yeah. me of. Like that china? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, the Chinese pattern. Cute. So, what would you rate this show out of 10? I'd say it's about a, a 7.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I'll say probably the same way, 7.5 or 8 out of 10. The yeah, show was yeah. pretty good. Um, I like the sense of, I like the aspect of just playing with color and pattern. And, you know, you could see that she's, you know, she's paying ode to her Caribbean roots, which is a cool yeah. thing. Um, so I like how she's playing with silhouette and embroidery and texture um, one of the things I, you know, I don't think that was needed was the, the shins on some of the looks. Um, you know, definitely, especially with the heels. Um, either you know, I recommend either a flat sandal, or like something that's like a four inch or three and a half inch heel. You know, for the French shoes. So that's what I gotta say with that. Yeah, I agree. Like the shins, kind of threw me off because it just felt like. An unnecessary add-on. Um, maybe I would say maybe like that little that little bitty snake portion. I didn't really understand it in terms of the whole collection, but mm -hmm. they weren't bad looks at all. So, um, but yeah, I, I those would, like be my only changes. Other than that, I think it was a it was a good show. I think um, I can definitely see her vision, and I can see the juxtaposition of the Haitian and the Italian side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So we're now going to go back and look at some of our favorite looks. This first look, I like this look. Definitely. I mean, it's okay to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not a big fan of like the pants and the dress. I mean, yeah, I mean, it just, it's not really one that really just stood out to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the pattern of the on the bottom of the skirt and like the flower motif. Yeah. That's really, really nice. Yeah, um, this next one with the shins. I, again, I'm just not sure mm -hmm. why we needed those, but okay. Yeah, that didn't really make any sense. Yeah. That really didn't make any sense as much. But um, I would say one of the looks I, I really want to highlight is this suit. Now, I'm not a big fan of the shins, you know, but I like the suit. And I like yeah. the hat that goes with it. I like the pink. This pink. I don't know. It's like a cardigan, I think. Yeah, this pink cardigan. I love that. It's like mm -hmm. a pink pinstripe cardigan. That's what I like. Yeah, the cardigan is very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice cardigan. But the suit I was talking about is this suit that I'm looking at, which is blue with the aqua hat after the yellow. Oh, dress. okay. Oh, yeah, that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's all good. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the blue, the blue stripe, um, blue and red stripe suit with the with the aqua hat that got the shins. Um, yeah, so the shins, I would just, like I said there again, just take away. But the Toss suit, them out. Burn them. <laughs> burn them, Stella. <laughs> burn them. 
<laughs> but um, uh, I do like the tailoring of the suit. I do like the belt. I do love the hat as well. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a sucker for wide brim hats, so I like how she's incorporating that um, as an accessory for this collection. Yeah, I agree. The hat was very interesting. Yeah, definitely. Let me see another look. I'm looking at this As one word. Mm, the skirt and the Stella polo top. Yeah, the Stella polo top. I wish I could. I wonder is it online because I, I probably would buy that. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. I, I like, um, you know, how she makes that polo style shirt, but also like the, the skirt too. I like the, you know, pattern mm -hmm. of it. It reminds yep. me of um, Sicilian carts in a way yeah yeah love the, the love the polos mm -hmm. i feel like that's something she should continue to do and do like a different rendition of in each collection is, is the polo yeah yeah absolutely most definitely let me see what other look do we like I think this look with the um the fringe, the whole fringe skirt and the and the t shirt, the graphic t shirt is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, that fringe was eating. Yeah, the Absolutely. fringe skirt. Yeah, this was this was really, really cool. Yeah. And the colors of it work well together in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely brings harmony, you know, as an outfit all together, all as one, especially with gold accents, you know, so mm -hmm. I like how with Stella, you know, she has like, you know, um, a little bit of hardware. And I feel like also too, like not only is it paying ode to like her culture, but it's also giving an aspect of like that bohemian vibe in a, in a sense. Yeah. So, yeah, she did. She did well there on that look. Yeah, yeah, right. Absolutely, definitely. Yeah, I like this other look. I like the pants. I just noticed that, like, not the pants, the skirt. I like the skirt and how it has like a newspaper, paper mache type of um, collage pattern. Yeah. On the skirt, and then it's the Stella polo top. Yeah, very creative. Yeah, that's really really cool. I like this other look too, this dress, you know, this uh, maxi dress. That's very, very nice, very resort. Yeah, that's one of those dresses where your man takes you on a vacation in Italy and then he proposes to you in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly, most definitely. Yeah, I could totally agree with that. All right, so the next show we'll be looking at from Stella Jean is fall, winter 2017, 2018. Let's get into it. All right. The orchestra, a band. Yeah. Violin and drums. Okay. Mm. Very interesting. Interesting. I like the jacket with the flowers on it. I like that jacket. I don't know how I feel about that yet. <laughs> okay. Like this coat, maybe without the the medals. Medals, yeah. Yeah. I like the hoodie. The hoodie's really nice. I like the brown hoodie. Is it a hoodie? I don't think so. Well look was it a hoodie style shirt silhouette.
Yeah, um, same thing with that jacket, the metals. But I don't know if I love the print either. Yeah, let me go ahead and play it back a little bit. Yeah, the print is pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the print either. I'm not a big yeah. fan of the print. This one, I feel like I like these pieces separately because I like the print. Yeah. But together, all this entire outfit, I'm not loving. Yeah, I, I think you know, like this look coming down. I like how it's different pieces that come together. You know, yeah. I like the leopard with the medals. I'll wear that. That's that's pretty fly. This dress, I don't know about. It's very interesting. Like the top pieces, I would wear like with some like brown pants and some nice dress shoes. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, like some of these looks, you know, I don't know about them clashing together. Um, you know, but some of them, like how you said, some of the stuff I wear se separately too. Yeah, like the skirt on the one we just saw, I would wear the skirt. Mm hmm. Um, I don't think I would wear anything from that look. <laughs> the red skirt looks looks cool. Very metallic material. Um, the polo style shirt again. I think it said, what did the polo shirt say? One. What did it say? One. One. No one. A hundred thousand kilometers. <laughs> hmm. No, I don't know if that's like an Italian thing, cause I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what what that um what that means. So with this one, it it gives very very much like playing a lot with um earth tones, very very earth tones. Um, you know, I do like how she's playing with, you know, continuing with pattern and textile design, but I think like how you said there again, like with this collection in particular, I would say just an improvement has to be on in terms of making sure every look is cohesive, you know, and to have, to have certain pieces that would go together well, that's just in my perspective. Yeah, it looks like she's trying to do something, incorporate like some military elements in there, like some military yeah, yeah. style, but I yeah. don't think it's working, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. I think how it will work is she did like tailored suits, you know, like a nice blazer and then some dress pants, you know. Yeah. Giving like Hugo Boss type of vibes to an extent, you know, but paying ode to um, the military, you know, Caribbean military or Italian style military. Yeah. I think that would make more sense as far as the medals. Okay. That one says Jean and it's a communist symbol. Interesting. Or it seems like it's like a take on the, com on the communist symbol because it's like a mm -hmm. pair of scissors on the inside. So there's... Oh, okay. Maybe I'm starting to understand. So with that, it seems like there may be like some Soviet Russia, Russian elements in there mm -hmm. from like the time of the Soviet Union uh, with like mm -hmm. a little bit of her uh, elements of like the Haitian side with the Caribbean. But yeah, okay. So I, I feel like I have context now. Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of this was kind of given like gypsy in, in back in the days in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could tell like, yeah, some of the stuff I can, I can understand. Like I like the Navy jacket that um, came down on the runway, the Navy jacket. I like that backpack. That's yeah, probably backpack. my favorite thing in the whole show. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> backpack, that was fly. I like the green backpack. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right, with embroidery. That's nice. 
Okay, well that might be my favorite look then. Cause it was looking bleak. <laughs> the uh the dress with the embroidery and the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Yeah, I like that. And I like that too. Yeah. I like how it has like that landscape design on on the um the silhouette. Mm -hmm. the that's really really cool now i can see more of like the the military style vibes especially with the yeah. shoulder the shoulder aspect of the garments so i like how she add those certain you know elements okay so it looked like it just got better with the last three pieces. <laughs> yeah, I would say like not like the last. I would say kind of like the second half, essentially. Okay. And I like how with the runway show too, they have like the the orchestra playing the violins and you know. Just kind of give like that that feel to the show. Yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming the models are coming back out. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, eventually, they'll be coming back out. Oh, there's a guy singing. Yeah, let's see. Let me see. So it was like a performance Let's thing. So yeah, this is where the models come out. I kind of skipped that that part where he where the guy was singing. And yeah, the models coming out. So what would you rate this out of ten? Uh, for me, I have to say a five. Five out of ten. Mm. Definitely got better in the, on, on the for me it got better in the last three pieces because a lot of uh, those looks were just not looking good to me. Yeah, I would say probably a five, if not a five point five as well, because I think I see where she was going with it, but I think if the theme was consistent, like I said, it got better. You know, to me, the second the second half yeah. of the show. So I think if she continued the elements of that military style, like with the shoulder aspect, you know, of course the bags or like the medals and stuff, you know, like, you know, paying ode to the, to, you know, the military, you know, in Italy and in the Caribbean, I think the message would pick up more and will be understood more. You know, I do like, you know, with both her shows, she plays a lot with, you know, color, um, textile design, pattern, um this gives more of earth tones than it did with the previous show the previous show was more bright colored uh, vibrant vivid very fun um paying ode to her caribbean culture um giving a little bit of italian culture too a little bit of aspects of that so um i think that her first show for spring summer um 2020 was better in my perspective yeah um for me it was it was that one shirt i was confused because like i said more of it was looking looking more gypsy than it was like caribbean um i, I can still see some of the caribbean elements in there but now yeah. that i see i saw that com the shirt with the communist symbol but it was just with the scissors now it, it's it's apparent to me that this was like um more of a take on like i said soviet russia so it seems like um she was kind of i don't know if she was paying homage to soviet russia or was just like taking some of those elements and reworking them um i definitely think there is this runway show is probably a little more on the political side to me it seems yeah yeah agreed yeah definitely we gonna go ahead and play it back a little bit and look at some of our favorite looks I would say, where's that hoodie one? I like this hoodie. It's not a, 
it looks like a hoodie. Yeah, but it's, it's like it's not a hoodie. <laughs> it, it, you know, it it gives it gives a hoodie silhouette in a way. Yeah. But I just like the pattern and just like also to like the balls, you know, hanging with you know with the uh, the top. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah, I, I just like the, the print. Pop. Yeah, it's a very yeah. interesting print. Cool. I would say my other favorite that I liked. Um, let me see. It was one with the green jacket. I like that one. Some of the fur coats was cool, but I think they could do without the medals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this green jacket, I really like. You know, with the medals, that's that's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, this My one definitely it screams to me um, like that, like poor um, European in like the night in like nineteen thirty five. Yeah, 1920s. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it gets more 1920s, like maybe like early or mid to late 1920s. Mm hmm. Somewhere the backpack around there. eats. Yeah, that backpack, it, it eats. I think some of the handbags, I think from what I've seen, you know, that those are really, really cool. Yeah, this green backpack, I like that. It's a matte green with some gold accents. Let me see if I can find that. Because <laughs> I might. <laughs> it's not expensive. I might have to grab it. Yeah, you like, I'm about to mess around and grab, grab me a book bag. Like I need another backpack. <laughs> yeah, this was this was good too. The dress with the with the metal. I like the accents of gold and the colors. And I like the, you know, the shoulder part with the fringe. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah, this was yeah, cute. I loved her. This is very, very nice. Yeah, very much. It it looks like a play with embroidery, so that's very, very mm -hmm. good. That's a very nice touch. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's probably my favorite look of the show. And this one I like too. Yeah, yeah, me too. I like the landscape mm -hmm. um, you know, design um on the fabric. Mm -hmm. That's really, really cool. So it does like in 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 that um, silhouette. It does within that design, that landscape painting design. It does give like winter, you know, Russia to a certain extent, like Europe's uh, to a certain extent when it's really cold. Yeah. You know, so love you that. know, like, yeah, that this is really cool. I love the design. Yeah, I think I think that was a good closer. Mm hmm Yeah, definitely. It was a very good closer. And I like the the, the aspects of the the opulence in a way. It was it's very subtle on the piece. Yeah. It was very, For very sure. subtle. Yeah, both last three for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah those that, are good. Yeah, the last the final three were very, very good. All right. So final thoughts. What do we think? Yeah, so I just want to go ahead and read this uh runway review by one of the one of Vogue's writers at the time that gave a little bit of a snippet of like what Stella's thoughts were. So mm -hmm. she says, Stella Jean gave us another one of her signature matchups for fall. Backstage, she breath breathlessly explained that she's been thinking all about the Cold War when the U.S. Mm. and the USSR's relationship or lack of one was unambiguous. Nothing is clear now, she said, acknowledging the very complicated links between the current American and Russian governments. This is heavy stuff for a fashion show, especially for a designer. Um, for a designer who made optimism such a central part of her message when she landed on the Milan on the Milan scene about three and a half years ago. Over the seasons, Jean's collections may have become more politicized, but they've never come at the subject of world affairs so head on. Mm. Yeah. 
So that's the context for the uh, for the 2017 2018 runway. Yeah. So she was definitely inspired by like like I said the Cold War War and the uh, Soviet Russia um, mm -hmm. that whole area and time period that tension. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, you could definitely looking back at that at that show is definitely those elements, you know, the Soviet Union, USSR, um, you know, the fur coats, the the medals and things like that, that military, those military elements. So definitely yeah. um, with that second show, not only with with those elements, but also it was more earth tone than it was with the first show. The first show was yeah. more resort, very vibrant. Of course, it was spring and summer, um, and that was her most recent one. Her most recent shows, um, spring summer, um, twenty twenty. But definitely, I like the first show better because you know I love the pops of color. I love to play with texture. The French skirt was really really cool to see. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's my thoughts. What's your thoughts? Yeah, yeah, my thoughts. Um, I noticed that the the first show didn't seem nearly like as like out would be political as the second um right. but you know yeah i mean i think i think but in terms of like aesthetic and wearable looks i think i like the first show a lot better um mm -hmm. yeah i think it really it seemed like it really showcased more of like where she says like her haitian elements in her design versus the second show seemed a little more about um cultures outside of ones that she shares uh, mm -hmm. because she was inspired by American military and Soviet Union but she's right. Haitian Italian so she right. made it more so about that than her own like heritage and culture which she it seems like she usually does in her incorporates into her design which nothing's wrong with that but it was just right. like, something that I noticed mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Most definitely. Well, thank you so much again, Victoria, for jumping on. Um, I really enjoyed our review of Stella Jean's work. And, you know, and I and I think to um, look back at her fall winter uh, collection and then to her most recent, which is the spring summer, I could definitely see like also there's an improvement too. you know what I yeah. mean? Um, I think she's getting better as far as having a clear message within her collection. So um, I definitely think, you know, you know, for her to continue to what she's doing, and I think what she's doing is over, overall great if she continues to improve in terms of, like, just making sure the message is clear for people to understand. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, um, I think that that would be very, very feasible um, down the road in the future. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much again, and this is a wonderful um, conversation and review. And until the next one, take care, everybody. Hello everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click the bells for notifications. Also follow me on social media platforms and be on the lookout for more interviews involving fashion, style, and fashion history. Take care and stay stylish. Bye-bye.